So the first question is, is the coronavirus pandemic a judgment from God? And I think to answer that question, we need to start by understanding what judgment is and to really go back to the beginning. Uh, in the very beginning, when mankind fell into sin, uh, God had said that his wrath against sin was that man would die. And all death, all disease stem from that original fall of mankind into sin. And it is every time we face death, every time we see disease, the things that lead to death, they're coming from God's judgment. And we also see this in scripture that really all judgments, all disasters come from God in Amos 3, 6, which says, does disaster come to a city unless the Lord has done it? But then when we look at specific judgments, we might ask, what is God's particular purpose? And when we look in the Old Testament, we do see times when God has sent a prophet to declare that God is bringing a specific judgment on a specific nation or a specific group of people for a specific purpose. And in those sorts of judgments, we know God's specific purpose, and he has a message that he's sending along with that judgment. But we also need to recognize that there are many disasters, there are many diseases, there are many uh, terrible things that come to us in life that God does not specifically give a prophetic word to explain to us. And in those, uh, in those sorts of disasters, we need to go to what is God's general message in disaster, in death, and we have that given to us from Jesus in Luke chapter 13, which I want to read for us now. In Luke 13, we read, There were some present at that very time who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And he answered them, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered in this way? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will also likewise perish. Or those 18 on whom the tower in Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others who lived in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Now in this passage, we see Jesus is addressing two different events. One was uh, some Galileans who were apparently murdered by Pilate. And so this is a disaster at the hands of intentional violence from another human being. And then he has another example where a tower fell. It was accidental. It wasn't intentional. So in one case, people are suffering due to the sins of others. In another case, they are suffering just by an accidental happening with no particular person to blame on or cause. But we can say that both of these are, are disasters. Both of these are, are terrible things that led to death. And Jesus makes clear that it wasn't those people's specific sins or that they were worse sinners that these disasters fell on them, but that all mankind being under the curse of death for sin is subject to such things happening to them, and we will all die um, as a result of sin. But what was the takeaway? What was the message? What was the purpose in God sending these disasters? And Jesus said the, the purpose, the message, the takeaway was that it was a call to repentance. It was to make people realize that their sin needs to be dealt with. Their sin requires a Savior. And that's what Jesus had come uh, to be for us, to offer salvation through his death on the cross. And so let's apply those principles to the COVID-19 pandemic. It's a message from God saying that people are dying because people are sinners and they need a Savior. And the same message goes out to us today. Repent or you too will perish. And so with every disaster, uh, with every judgment from God, the takeaway is the same. Repent of your sins. Put your trust in Jesus Christ, for he is a gracious Savior. And if you trust in him, he offers forgiveness of sins and eternal life.